This is Witchbase News for Friday the 23rd of June 2023. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week Frontier published their frameshift livestream schedule for the rest of the year ahead Alec Turner publishes a beginning to end guide to harvesting around the titans and we've an exclusive announcement for our upcoming PitCon community meet. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon if you'd like to help directly support our work. Links to that and everything else are below. During last weeks Frameshift Live Elite Dangerous livestream from Frontier the team confirmed that the recently reworked streaming schedule for Elite Dangerous which sees streams going to just one stream a month does mean just that. That's to say one stream a month not a stream every 4 weeks. The release and streaming schedule for Frontiers other games in particular the newer titles such as Age of Sigmar and F1 Manager are dictating when in any given month Elite Dangerous will see its own dedicated stream. The end result of this is that some months there will be 4 weeks between shows and other months will see longer or shorter periods between the streams. This week Frontier published the full planned schedule of live streams for Elite Dangerous from now through to the end of the year with the next live stream being planned for the 20th of July and focusing on preparation for update 16 which is itself currently scheduled to arrive the first week in August. You'll find a link to the forum post and the full live stream schedule in the description below this video. Buckyball impresario, lave radio regular and serial SRV offender Alec Turner took an unexpected turn this week releasing a start to finish video guide on reaching a Thargoid Titan, retrieving tissue samples and then getting the hell out of dodge again. The guide shows Alec using the immediately drop to silent running method of glaive evasion during the 1 hyperdiction and 5 interdictions he was subjected to en route to the Oya Titan. Upon reaching the colossal alien megaship Alec can be seen tickling the Titan with a thermal vent beam to manage the heat on his vessel, using the Titan itself to evade unwanted attention and scanning the Titan and then taking samples from various spots on the ship. He also escapes a player interdiction on his way back to last weeks community goal protecting his precious and vulnerable cargo. The video footage is sped up for most of its runtime but still comes in at just under 20 minutes long. I'd advise judicious use of the pause button to make sure you're able to read the subtitles Alec has used as it can go by at quite the pace otherwise. All in all there's a bunch of useful tips and information in the video making it a must watch for anyone attempting titan tissue sampling. As always you'll find a link to the video in the description below. If you missed the announcement on our YouTube community pages during the week then you might not have seen that Rini and I are very excited to be hosting PitCon, a one day elite dangerous and gaming event for the community on September the 16th at the rather swish Belfry Hotel in Nottingham in the UK. The event is a chance to meet and chat with fellow commanders. We will also be featuring playable retro consoles, sessions of the Elite Dangerous Miniatures tabletop game hosted by no less than Commander Phoenix Defire of Lave Radio, a charity raffle in aid of special effect featuring some awesome gaming hardware as prizes amongst other things. We're also stupidly excited to have Elite's very own Commander Takoso performing live music in the evening including a virtual duet performance with Commander Alzo. The developers of the new indie space game Starship Simulator will also be hosting a presentation about the game and you'll have the chance to ask them questions and get a hands on demo of the game. If you missed it we published a video introducing Starship Simulator earlier this week which you'll find linked on screen now. 
And if all that wasn't enough today I'm very excited to exclusively announce that the event will be attended by Frontier Developments who are sending along the fabulous Sally and Arf from the community team and some of the games developers including the much loved Darren who although no longer developing Elite has been around the game for so many years it's always wonderful to speak with him. We're also hugely excited to have the lovely Robin and Roger from the audio and development teams respectively. All in all it promises to be one very special day packed with commanders, space games, retro gaming, tabletop games, developers, prizes and good food and hospitality late into the night. We will even be presenting an edition of Witchspace News live at the event. We very much look forward to seeing a few of you there. Tickets are now on sale and all details can be found on our PitCon website. You'll find a link to that and everything you need in the description below this video. What have you been doing in the game this week? Will you be tickling a titan after seeing Alex video and are you planning on attending PitCon in September? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.